In the previous videos, we've learned about adding rows, columns, and grids using Bootstrap. And of course, we've created this nice grid, and we've added several columns, and we've learned how to rearrange the sizes of these, and several other things. In this video, we're going to add another row. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we had these previous columns that we used right here. So let's go ahead and uncomment this out. And what we're going to do is add another row. So we can just go ahead and copy and paste this right down here. So now we need to close this out right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we've closed this row out right here. This is all self-contained. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want actually four columns. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this last column here, column six, because we want seven columns now, four columns in our second row. So we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this here, and let's make this seven and seven. Good, we're moving right along. Now let's go ahead and switch over to our style sheet, and we'll need to create a new rule set for our column seven. And we'll go ahead and do that. And let's make this seven. And let's make the color of this beige make this beige. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's flip back to our index.html. And let's go ahead and make each one of these columns in our second row size 3. We'll make this a size 3. Now you can play around with the different sizes that you want. You may only want two or three of these, but one thing you'll notice is these will display differently depending on the size that you pick. So you have to play around with them to get them to fit accordingly. In this case, I had to play around with these and turned out that size three uh, fit perfectly. But like I said, you have to play around with these a little bit yourself to get the exact size and arrangement you want. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and load this up. And there you can see, look at that, that looks really nice. We have now a second row, all of these fit perfectly, and we can display whatever type of data we want. And that's the nice thing about Bootstrap. You can add as many rows, as many different sized columns as you want, and you can do it very easily. And you can see we just did that in about a minute, didn't take long. So that's really the nice thing about Bootstrap. Once you have everything set up, it's really easy to go ahead and add more rows, more columns, whatever you need for your web page. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video.